serious people who once lacked motivation but are now successful. What changed? Attention. Serious tag notice. Jokes. Puns. And off-topic comments are not permitted in any comment. Parent or child. Parent comments that aren't from the target group will be removed, along with their child replies. Report comments that violate these rules. Posts that have few relevant answers within the first hour. And posts that are not appropriate for that serious tag will be removed. Consider doing an AM or request instead. Thanks for your cooperation and enjoy the discussion. I am a bot, and this action was performed automatically. Please contact the moderators of this subreddit if you have any questions or concerns. Seeing others become successful. So I said, why can't that be me? I went to therapy for my depression, realizing no one else has their shit together either. And if I just show up I'll be ahead of the pack. Analysis paralysis is a killer. Someone I greatly admire once said, motivation doesn't factor much into my life. Motivation comes and goes. If you lived by motivation you would accomplish little, or you would accomplish a wave every now and again. My life is run by discipline. Even when it's hard, even when it's easy, I dedicate myself to discipline. Don't chase the little gremlin that is motivation. It runs too fast. Slowly climb the mountain that is discipline. You owe it to yourself. I seriously attribute my success to that mindset. Just realizing that most who are successful aren't better than me. They're just doing whatever it is they're doing. As opposed to my relative inaction. As someone who recently got out of a seven-year funk. Here's a big thing I've learned. People are like cars they need fuel. Not just food, but also other needs. Like emotional support. As we go through life, we basically are running on fumes because our parents, teachers, friends tell us we're not good enough and not deserving of emotional resources. But if we can recognize that we have needs that aren't being met, we can find ways to get those needs met. And once that emotional hunger has been sated an hour, tank is full. Motivation comes with it. For me, I found that there were some needs I had buried deep. Uncovering them and addressing them has totally changed my life. It's only been a few days that I've been like this and I'll probably have another slump in the future. But this was a big breakthrough for me. Mine is a two-part answer. First I found something I actually like doing and not just something other people wanted me to do. Secondly, I got antidepressants and therapy. Bam, functional human being. Now I have a bachelor's degree and working on my postgrad. My mental health. I was severely depressed throughout primary school and most of college graduated high school with a 2.5 GPA and then nearly failed out of college twice. When I could find any motivation at all I performed well. But most of the time I was suicidal and just couldn't make myself care about anything. I was finally allowed to see a therapist starting around 20 years old. And by my fifth year of college I had become a 4.0 student. Went into a very competitive graduate school a few years later and graduated top of my class while being the only student working full-time. I've excelled and been promoted in every job I've had since then. I relied on discipline instead. I quit. When my high school counselor told me to quit, I did. I cried. I felt lost. I felt alone. I was always told I'd never make it to college. We were too poor. Loans were something rich people could get. Nobody told me any different. Why waste my time with school? I started working full-time and I was the best employee when I showed up. It was a theme. That began a journey of quitting. It was a long journey. With a lot of obstacles. Wasted time. Parties and clubs. Bars. And late nights. I met a girl though. She pushed me to try. I quit my job for a new one with an apprenticeship. I had a reason to show up. It was something I was genuinely interested in. I quit calling in sick. I quit going to bars and clubs. I quit a drinking. I quit smoking. There were a lot of positive influences. People. Those were the highlights. Positive people that inspired me. Pushed me harder. And asked more of me than anyone else ever had. 
I learned what humility was. I quit trying to prove myself. I quit trying to succeed. I quit trying to be the best. I quit feeling failure. I started just looking out for others. I quit worrying about what others thought about me. And started worrying about how to help others. My life took a turn for the better. I had mentors at work and a family of my own. A wife and a young daughter. I volunteered teaching school children about science, technology, engineering and math. I went back to school. To college. I had dropped out of high school with over a year's worth of credits from advanced placement courses. My apprenticeship gave me another year of credit and an associate's. I entered an accelerated bachelor's program that had 16 hours of class every weekend for a year. 11 years after dropping out of high school, I graduated with my bachelor's. 13 years afterwards, I graduated with my master's. 15 years later, I am now halfway through my PhD. I'm on the executive board of two nonprofits. I'm a senior civilian in the U.S. Navy with a decade of service and the CEO of my own consulting firm. What changed? I did. I quit being the kid who was told they'd never have a chance. I started being the man who gave others the opportunity they deserve. I found my passion. My pursuit is giving others the chance to learn and grow, showing them they have a choice. Motivation finds you, is actually the last thing that finds you, unless you already have it. Been through a downward spiral, incurred loss after loss, topped with an irrecoverable loss not financial, thought I'd hit rock bottom on several occasions, yet lastly found out that rock bottom has a basement when you literally have nothing left. You flip a coin to see whether you're throwing the towel in or climbing out of the shithole you find yourself in. This is when motivation shows up. To stay, I went on a walk to jump off a cliff and in my way there the Bob Marley song, Three Little Birds, came on even though it wasn't in the playlist I was listening to sing, every little thing is gonna be alright and now I look at everything from a positive point of view. I finally put the pipe and bottle down four years ago. As of last Wednesday I have an AA from Folsom Lake CC and am transferring to Evergreen State College in Olympia, Washington. I have my own apartment, plants and fish, a beautiful girlfriend that I'm planning on proposing to before the move, and my parents and I finally have a relationship again. It was miserable and I had thought about suicide many many times but I'm blessed to have stuck it out. I ended up with a girlfriend. Love her more than anything. And when I realized my lack of motivation and action in my life made her worry. I did everything I could to change it. College. I was so unmotivated and lazy in high school. I still got good grades but I didn't want to go to school. When I got to college, something just clicked and I for once actually wanted to learn and try hard. The tuition was also a good motivator. Nearly went blind due to a severe case of treatment-resistant pigmentary glaucoma which ultimately required three surgeries to correct in my early, mid-twenties. I'm an American millennial. Had I not been on my parents' insurance, the whole fiasco likely would have set me up for a lifetime of debt. Or I just would have gone blind. At the time we still weren't really sure if I was going to need additional surgeries in a few. Years after the age of 26, when I would have automatically been booted off my parents' insurance, got my ass in gear to get a career that would reliably offer health insurance or pay well enough that I could buy my own private plan. I feel I was lucky first off because I had parents in a position to still have me on their insurance. But also, most people don't have their first major health crisis until later in life when it's harder to change the course of their finances career. I see this playing out in many of my friends. I am nevertheless in favor of socialized health care. I don't want other people to go through the terror that I did and many go through far worse. Fear of poverty. I taught high school for half the year and one of the students was so incredibly smart and pointed out all of my flaws on how to be a better educator. High schoolers have no filter and say whatever is on their mind. 
and it motivated me to do better and I decided to go for my master's. Motivation may start you down the path but discipline is what maintains the path. Motivation is fleeting, getting a schedule and sticking to it. I found it hard to do anything if I don't set myself times to do it by. I went against my parents' wishes. Ended up disowned but at least I took my life back. I moved upstate where a lot of my friends had been accepted to college. But I didn't have a lot of money. I lived with one of them. Who had just got a place. But his girlfriend started hanging out. Since they had privacy. Two weeks later. My stuff was by the door. So I got the paper and looked at rentals. This was a while ago. And the only room I could find that was cheap was in that house. You know it. That house in the neighborhood with the broken porch and three cars out front that don't work. And drunks and heroin addicts coming and going at all hours. The more I stayed there and the more I saw how they lived. The more I wanted better. I was also working in a coffee shop as a waiter. With people that had been working there for years. Or even decades. One day during late summer. I was heading out to work and one of the addicts had passed out with a needle still kinda stuck in his arm. One of the six dogs that lived there was licking it. I stood and stared. That was before the morning shift. That afternoon, after work, I went straight to the JC and registered. I worked hard and never, ever flagged. All I had to think of was those days at that house. For what it's worth, terms like motivation and discipline are so broad to be fairly useless. That's just a huge rock to lift. But if you can break them down into more specific skills, changing your behavior might be easier. For example, if I think of myself as unmotivated to finish this painting project, it can be really difficult to summon the energy to work on it. But if I narrow my issue down to the difficulty I'm having in initiating the painting process, the barrier becomes so much easier to overcome. I know that once I get started, I'll probably get into and really get some painting done. Or maybe I'm reluctant to work on it because there are a lot of steps involved and I feel a little overwhelmed. But maybe I could work on just one part of it that feels manageable. And tomorrow the whole process will feel a lot less intimidating. Just keep chipping away at it. Anyway, point being, motivation is really an umbrella term for a whole suite of traits organization. Planning task initiation, follow through, and see. Most people have a few strong suits and a couple weaknesses. But being specific about your obstacles can make them so much easier to manage. Laid off the wheat, honestly I went to a psychiatrist and we discovered that I have bipolar disorder. Once I got on medication I was a completely different person who actually wanted to be successful. When I was 18 I was overweight sitting on my parents' couch watching TV. A friend of my parents offered me a job in real estate development. I started working for about two years and saved up enough money to travel around the world. I came back after a year of traveling and now run my own property management company. What changed for me was having successful family friend. Probably not what you were looking for. I stopped blaming others for my failures. A very difficult thing to do. I used to barely pass in high school and did horrible in school. My parents were always there to clean up my messes and brush it under the rug. Once I lived on my own, and realized the only person to clean up my mess was me. I started. Now I'm a straight -a honor student. Homelessness. I now have PTSD and work two jobs. I went to the doctor and asked for ADHD meds. And boom. Where I was once a lazy perfectionist that couldn't get anything done at all. Turned into everything making sense. Being able to break up projects into minor tasks that could be accomplished. And general happiness skyrocketed. Understanding that motivation is fleeting. But discipline makes things happen. Without discipline take chances of actually completing any task that is ultimately highly rewarding. Are slim. Establish a goal. Something you want. Reverse engineer the steps you need to take to make that goal come true. Build the discipline to grind it out. Up. Thank you for posting this.
and thank you for the stories you've shared in this thread. This is something that I really needed to see. I was a 5, 6,210 pounds incoming freshman who had always got below average grades. I played football but my football team had a loser mentality. I joined wrestling and there I met the best community I've ever been in. There I realized that my purpose as a person, of being someone who gives themselves for a greater good for what they care about. I'm now 5'9 to 10-ish and 180 pounds while doing better in school. I'm now starting in football and wrestling is coming together well. TLDR, find your purpose and give it all for said purpose. A couple years in the Air Force. Working on the flight line will either make or break you. I learned hard work, and the meaning of it. Got out, moved away from everyone I know, and started a new life. I work in banking now. Ended up buying a house and showed the friends I made in the service that they too can make it on their own. As a bonus, my college is free when I want to use it thanks the post-9-11 GI Bill.